Hi everyone, it's another community connection on the Wentzville Park Bench. I'm Michelle Carlisle, I'm here with Linda Steyer. Hi everyone. Owner and proprietor of Eldie's General Store here in downtown Wentzville. A couple of things that I wanted to touch on today because you have such a wonderful shop here is what made you decide to open such a such a diverse store? I mean, there's there's a little bit of everything in here and it's awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, living in Wentzville for uh, over 20 years, um, we really love St. Charles because that's where I was born and raised. And so it was like, we needed a little bit of that here in Wentzville. And um, so as I was telling you, my husband and I, we traveled for 10 years doing all the home shows and the craft shows. And, and, and so the entire store is full of all of our friends and so you don't have to travel anywhere if you live in Wentzville. Um, They've done it for you. We just <laughs> brought everything to one spot. So lots of things to look at, lots of local, but mostly it's just all good quality products and, and, and different categories, you know, like health and wellness and, and our candies and chocolates and coffees and soups and, you know, so, got a little bit of everything. Good coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'm really enjoying my visit here. What are some of the things that have surprised you about owning a business? Mm -hmm. I've always been a business owner. I was a salon owner for 37 years. Okay. And um, so I love small business, and my family is small business, so I've grown, grown up in that. And so this is no surprise that, uh, the, I think the surprise is, uh, for me, has been uh, how fun it is. And, um, you know, it's, it's great having people come in here every day and they leave with a smile or something unexpected. Um, and it, it just keeps me knowing, okay, you're, you know, this is what you're supposed to be doing. And, um, you know... I'm a little ADD, and so I love the constant stimulation of people <laughs> in and out. And when the bell rings, and the bell rings, and the bell rings, and the bell rings, and we're, we're just like, all right, you know. So, you know, sometimes we we need the bell to quiet down because it's too busy. But well, um, it, you know, it's it's when it comes, we're very it, happy. It's fun to share the joy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's always rewarding to share good feelings, yeah. and, and there's nothing wrong with that. No, no. <laughs> What are some of the challenges that you and your husband face as business owners in a, in a small shop like this? Um, well, we work together, and um, we always tell when we hire staff, we are always like, you know, we're a husband and like you, a husband and wife team. And so some of those challenges, you know, are just us, you know, working, eating, sleeping, playing, all the things together. And, but we have a good sense of humor because we've been doing it so Very long. helpful. <laughs> and so um, that has been um, training, like when we're getting new staff, because there's so many little pockets of info in the store that, oh, uh, absolutely. Um, you know, it's that's probably one of our biggest challenges, just the training and getting the staff. And it changes in here so fast. Like you could leave on Monday and when you come back on Wednesday, we could have a new tea. Like tomorrow, the staff's going to come in, and, and we got a new tea, and we got eight new drinks, and we got, you know, I mean, I'm, they're like I'm having one gone. of those new drinks yeah. that just came out today. Yeah. So, yeah. and that one is the uh, raspberry truffle. Yes. Yeah. So um, very good. So very very good. Yeah. And, and I guess another challenge is always to keep the store really fresh. Like, you know, we just brought in truffles and. Um, and we do our chocolate covered strawberries and you know and it's like it's just keeping things fresh and new and exciting so that you keep coming back because every time right. you come back it's like a different store and so um, it's an adventure yeah it's a and a treat <laughs> what, what do we we like to be called a, a destination so like people come out to Wentzville and actually spend the day so we've got some fun surprises in, in our town so it's it's a little sweet spot. Awesome. Always fun to be part of, well, fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. We kind of
kind of touched on it a little bit, but what are some of the important reasons that people should shop local? Why is that important? Well, you know, most of all of our employees are local residents, and so if you're shopping local, you're paying for salaries that are local, you know, it just keeps it in our community and it keeps it keeps little businesses going. And um, you know, it's a challenge. I, I just seen a challenge the other day to get everything out of your house that isn't American made. And my dad, Good luck. I know, my, <laughs> my dad tried to, to do that when we were kids because he was small business. And um, so as an adult, you know, you really see the benefit of shopping local. And, you know, my husband and I are we're the first ones to support local. I mean, yeah. it's it's how we make our livelihood and we know there's others just like some of you that are uh, entrepreneurs and we need each other yeah. Yeah. absolutely yeah. not everything can come from a big box that's right yeah. yeah you get the more fun stuff from the smaller vendors yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and you know it's interesting because you know I'll see sometimes uh, items that maybe I've had or I have in the store now and I'm always surprised at how inexpensive that a big box store could sell it. And it's because they have the power to buy yeah. 500 cases or whatever. And I'm only buying a dozen, you know? And I'm right. like, on one hand, it's like, I don't have room to put 500 cases of, of anything. one thing, right. You uh, still it would want be a very variety. boring store if I had to buy it like that. <laughs> and, um, but there again, you may never find it in a big store, but you found it here. And so right. that's always fun, you know. I'm like, oh, okay, it sold. You know, it went through, everything went. People so. people were introduced to it, and you are supporting another small business somewhere mm -hmm. just by giving them an introduction here. Yeah, so. yeah it's fun. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Dot's Pretzel. That's a, yeah. oh my gosh, my, my husband's from the Dakotas. And we found them years ago, and so we brought them to the store, and nobody had heard of Dots Pretzels in nope. this. Yeah. <laughs> and we carried them probably for three years, and now I see them everywhere. I see them in Schnucks, I see them in uh, Save a Lot, I, I see them everywhere. That and I, can, I, I think, so oh my gosh. Spectacular. You know, and so just fun things like that because of our travels. Like, I know where those came yep. from. <laughs> Knowing the backstory. Kind of makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have so many different products, and they all smell good, and they taste good, and they look good. What are some of the things that customers just they love about the store? Mm -hmm. Well, I would have to say um, that our coffee and all of our drinks are amazing, <laughs> and then of course, front and center is our Elvis garlic. So. Um, when we opened the store and uh, my husband Brent wanted to put in a coffee shop, I said, honey, what does coffee have to do with garlic? And he was like, I don't know, you'll figure it out. <laughs> so I mean, you don't have to have them in the same cup. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, you don't have to cook the, the, the food with garlic and then add coffee. That's no. not necessary. Yeah. But they can both be enjoyed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I, I loved it. The, the coffee shop was all his idea. And so it just paired well to, to have it be a general store. My girlfriend was like, open a general store and then you can sell anything. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and our, our, their stuff is, um, where did I put it? Nawadi Herbals. And so, you know, oh. this is the start of our great health and wellness section of the store. And then another good friend, they opened the elderberry, uh, all things elderberry. So, you know, we have health and wellness. We have our gourmet section back here with lots and lots of local uh, mustards and uh, Chef James and um, the, the Amish and, and just great products from anywhere we can find them in Missouri. And I, then I noticed maple syrup from... Bowling Green, yeah, Bowling so Green. right up the road. And Thompson Soups and Dips. Um, it's just really, uh, really fun. So 
uh, I, I know we have something that you're looking for. <laughs> Whether you know it or not, That's right. you'll find it here. <laughs> Yeah. There's a challenge for you. <laughs> come find your favorite. Yeah, come find something <laughs> you can't live without. Exactly. Well, we really appreciate your time, Linda. We love the introduction. I know uh, we've become, I'm telling you behind the camera, we've become local resident favorites as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I always say we only need like 500 million people to taste LB's garlic so that we can actually retire someday on okay. garlic. So okay. yeah. And so. and but this is way more fun than like QVC or anything like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's it's good. wonderful. It's good. Well we appreciate you coming out. Oh absolutely. It's very We're nice. Always to happy to help local businesses, especially when they're just a small shop like this. It's not a chain. They're out here making a living for you, their neighbors. It's great. We have such an awesome community here in Lynchville that the support that we've had from our customers have been, it's its just heartfelt, you know. And so um, I think Wentzville was ready for it, and we were ready for Wentzville. So, yeah. Perfect good. storm. Yeah, it is. Perfect shot. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for coming out, Michelle. I appreciate it. Thank you, mm -hmm. Linda. Yeah. Everybody, come on. Stop down. You're at 6 West Main yep. here in Wentzville. Old town Wentzville. Historic Wentzville. Oh, yes. Come on down. Find your favorite. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>